Okay, so to restrict your domain, what you need to do is uh, first type in a function. Maybe you want a quad quadratic like x squared. So I'm entering that here. Um, of course, you can grab this and move this. Uh, maybe you want it to, if you grab near this vertex, you can actually move the vertex up to where you want it. And maybe that's going to be the top of the head there. Uh, but you can see I really want the function to end somewhere around here and around here. Uh, so I don't want that whole function. I want to restrict it. Well, there's a couple ways to do that. One way is to hit tab here and in the entry line, hit up arrow. Maybe a highlight uh, before the equal sign. Go to the template key. Hit this one. Oh, I didn't mean to hit uh, three pieces. I'm going to hit one piece. There you go. So then restrict it from, say, uh, this is one, two, three, four. The x values here are about 4.7, say, so negative 4.7, so negative 4.7 less than x less than control equals. On the right, it looks like one, two, three, four, maybe about four here for the x values, maybe a little less, but let's just try four to start with. And press enter. You can see the restriction there. Uh, that looks a little bit much. You see on the right, I don't want that little part sticking out there. I don't that want that little part sticking out there. So I'm going to make both those just a little bit smaller. Um, let's change this to uh, 3.8. Still not happy with 3.8. Uh, that's okay. Okay, so depends how much a perfectionist you want to be, but that's how you restricted, say, an x value there. Let's do an x equals parabola. So right click on the screen, put a text. No, don't want that. Right click, put a text box, and say something like maybe x equals y squared. Press enter. Drag that to the x-axis. It graphs over here and double click on there and you can say control equals and then such that bar. Uh, now I can put my restriction. Now notice with this type of parabola, um, and actually I don't want to do this yet. Um, first let's kind of grab, move this around. So let's uh, put this where we want it to go. So maybe I want the Probably you can see I, I want it to be kind of the side of the head there. Maybe something like that. Roughly like that. And I, I'm, you know, I just need a little part there. So I need the y values that are going to need to be restricted. So by the way, if you lost your equation, just go to uh, right click and go to label. It should show up at some point here. Oh wait, maybe it's already there. There it is. Uh, I not realized it was staring at me the whole time. Okay, so we're gonna double click on that and go to Control Equals, such that. And now I'm gonna restrict the Y value. So I'm not looking at the X axis, I'm looking at the Y axis. So I want this uh, parabola to maybe, it looks like right about two there would be my highest point. And somewhere around negative 3 will be my lowest point. So I'm going to say negative 3. Uh, control equals is less than y. Control equals less than, uh, let's say, positive 2. And you can see that the uh, y value of this point is, the highest point is at 2. The lowest point is at negative 3. And so I restricted the y values. Now, I might be happy with that. Uh, you could tweak it a little bit if you wanted to, but I think that's a pretty good start. If you want to restrict, say, like um, a linear line, I don't know if there are any linear lines here. Um, I could maybe use one for the eyebrow. If I want to do that, maybe type in X. And let's move this over towards where that eyebrow is. and Maybe tilt it a little. 
you know, just want a little eyebrow right there and I want it to be linear. If I wanted to do that, um, again, I'm going to need to uh, restrict it. So tab, go up to it. Uh, again, here in the entry line, you can also hit control equals if you prefer that and choose the such that. So I have to restrict the x value. So it looks like it goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4 to negative 3 maybe. So negative 4 uh, less than, you always start with a smaller one, less than x, less than negative 3. And you see that little red line there. Um, the, the, it goes, the x values of that line are from negative 4 on the x-axis to negative 3. And so it restricted there and it kind of matches the little eyebrow right there. And again, hide your equations when you're done with them. Right click and hide. That's how you restrict. Hope that helped.